all right glacier bay toilet won't fill so when you flush it and it just takes all day to fill or it doesn't fill at all here's the issue we're going to take off the lid here see if you have this valve assembly it's kind of good news because this is a very simple system let me show you how it's supposed to work so basically when you flush this toilet this valve is supposed to fill that little tub up um, it, it has water come out in two spots so you flush the toilet water comes out of that little gray cylinder and through that little uh, little tube on the bottom there it should fill this tub up once that black float floats to a certain spot it turns this valve off and then just waits for you to flush the toilet now this valve is bad as you can see it only has water coming out of one spot very little that cylinder is clogged uh, so we're going to go ahead and replace this valve this valve is available on amazon uh, links below it's only about 15 bucks at the moment now it has a part number on there but on amazon the part number is different however in the instructions that come with it is it identifies that same part number so this is the right one um so i got my toilet valve here it's new it came like this now these are uh, it's, it's pretty fragile but you know whatever there's a um there's a spot where you could untwist this. You're going to need to untwist this to put the, the flow regulator in. The new one doesn't come with a flow regulator. I'll show you what that is in a sec. So first, let's turn the water off to the toilet. Shut the water off. And then your old one, I was able to unscrew mine. Uh, I have pretty strong hands though, but um, if you have to use like a tool to unscrew that nut, you can. Just be careful because it's plastic. Everything's plastic on this. But we're going to unscrew this and pull this guy out. And... Um, you don't don't hold it upside down like I did because my regulator fell out but basically uh, this little white bead that's in here is they call it the pressure regulator it just looks like a white necklace bead that's pretty much all it is but we just got to switch this over to our new valve and it's pretty easy it's right here so don't lose this and then um, when you go put your new one in you put this little guy in there so the water could go through it and then make sure that black o-ring is still on the copper pipe and then we're gonna screw this shock nut on as tight as we can and we're gonna make sure the valve is like centered and facing the correct way and then uh, once it's on pretty tight we're gonna turn the water back on there shouldn't be any um, like leak spraying or anything but this should want to fill your tub as soon as it's, it's it realizes that it's empty so you flush it now it's gonna fill until that little black float floats up to about the level point and then it's gonna turn off the valve um, if it's overflowing, then you, there's a little black adjustment screw you could try to mess with, but mine came preset and uh, there was no issues. Once it reaches a certain level, that little black float, it turns this valve off, and then that's it. So I'll try it a few times, make sure it's good, make sure there's no leaks, and then uh, just put this back on, and then you're good to go.